spring 2020, the Guestbook Project collaborated with the St. Column Kills Partnership School in Boston on a project called Stories of Hospitality. It consisted of 40 students aged 12 to 14 creating and recording a series of story bites on their meetings with foreigners and strangers. The micro-narratives were shared in class and then edited into a guestbook video for inclusion in the Exchanging Stories, Changing Histories project in Digital Peace Pedagogy. Guestbook is very grateful to all the students who participated in this experiment and to their inspirational teachers, Anthony DeVito, Dave Walsh and Column Kill Principal, William Gartside. So fortunate to be partnering with Boston College to have our children working through the guestbook project. In our school, there are students who come from 32 different communities, and there are students that speak 25 different languages in their homes. Uh, the children are so excited about this and have, are now realizing that what they have here at St. Colum Kill is something that's special and that the, the difference that they find amongst themselves is an asset that they'll take forward all the way into their lives. And we know that it'll help change the world through, through, through this project. We asked students to think of a moment of conflict or a moment where their lives were transformed and why it impacted their life so much. I think they took away a sense of pride um, from being able to reflect on their lives and, and, and how they've grown even, even just at the age of 12. Um, and it was really fun to kind of watch them grow in the short um, three, four months that we did the projects. For me personally, um, it's like the mantra that everyone's got a story. And it seems to have sunk in after we did a couple rounds of peer editing. So just having them go through that moment was a particular success, I thought, for this project. It definitely leads to a lot of growth in the students. Now I'm really excited to see how their videos turn out. Hi. My name is Fatima Talez. I'm Danielle Lionel. My name is Martina. I'm 13 years old and I'm from Uganda. And I'm from Espiritu Santo in Brazil. And I go to St. Colin Kill Partnership School. I was only nine years old and this was my first time encountering someone who was homeless and mentally ill. Before the situation, all I really knew about homeless and mentally ill people was from TV shows, movies, and stuff that I heard from other people. My story is about the time I realized my school is diverse. Once a month, the kid would share what they liked to do, who their family was, and it was a poster called All About Me. Some kid looked really different, but when I saw his poster, we had a lot of things in common, like things we like to do, things we like to eat, and even our friends. My story began last summer when I traveled to Brazil and saw a lot of my family members and more of my background and where my parents grew up. On top of all that, I saw an entirely different culture in a place that's very different from mine and it really opened my eyes and helped me realize how big the world is. It's always been hard growing up because I am adopted and I have a mixed race family. My dad is Hispanic, I am Asian, my mom and brother are Caucasian. This incident happened when I was at the park. When I called my brother to go home, a woman asked my brother, "Hun, is this a stranger or your friend? My lesson to everyone is that families come in all different shapes and sizes and it's important for everyone to respect one another's opinions, but also learn to make your own opinions. People should not be judged until you know what they're going through and who they are. Some people go through family issues and others don't grow up with anyone to talk to. You need to love everybody no matter what they look like and no matter how they speak, no matter where they come from, because at the end of the day, everyone is human. I'm really glad that St. Claus has taught me that acceptance means a lot and we should accept people for who they are. We shouldn't make them change and they shouldn't change for us.